If you're moving to Sacramento, you've probably heard of Grand Bay. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about Grand Bay. I'm with Nikki. Nikki, how are you doing? Doing great. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. Today, we're talking about one of the heavy hitters in the Sacramento metro area, Granite Bay, a staple, right? One of my personal favorites in our area. And we've got a lot of favorites, but Granite Bay, that's a good one. Yeah. I mean, price points. What do you think as far as price points? Let's just jump right in. Okay. So I happen to know, <clears throat> excuse me, you can get in for, I think, 770 which is pretty amazing in Granite Bay. My, I think it's an older home. I think it actually comes with a little bit of land. But um, there, that's your jumping in point. I know you're going to ask me next, what's the most you, you can spend in Granite Bay? And that is $7 million. Really? Yeah. $7 million, man. But you get a lot of house, like eight bedrooms, and you're up the hill in Los Lagos, and... Pool, you know, the whole nine yards. Is that Shrek's house? I mean, Eddie Murphy's house? No? You no. know, I think it might be. That it house has was. been... I, mean, I know, that, it comes and goes. Comes and goes, man. at some point, man. somebody will be like, I need it. That has the views of Folsom Lake like nothing else I've ever seen. It is that, amazing. It's pretty amazing yeah. inside. Yeah. So, okay, so let's talk a little bit about Grand Bay. I'm sure there's people sitting in their you know, bedrooms, maybe watching this and saying, looking and living in Los Lagos going like under 800 for Grant Bay. Are you crazy? But yeah, there are. I would say those houses are probably like a little old or beaten up probably a little bit with a little land, um, but maybe on near Joe Rogers Road or whatnot. But mm -hmm. you'll probably find some there. But at the same time, people love the Grant Bay area because one is it's kind of central to the 1580. You got your good Roseville shopping, great foods. A lot of doctors live in Grant Bay that I know. We've worked with a lot of them yes. living in that area too. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, some new home building. We got like new home company who just finished up. We got Premier Homes. We got Anthem United. Oh, you did tours of Anthem United. What do you think of those homes? Oh, those are really pretty. They're all, actually, I like all of the new homes in Granite Bay. There's also the wood, Woodside Homes. Ooh, the park. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice one too. Yeah. That one is- Tim Lewis. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. You could always interrupt. It's okay. Yeah. Tim Luce has uh, Magnolia. That's mm -hmm. the one where I've been on the fence spending, like, you can go to $3 million on a semi-custom home. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, is that, I mean, I love the Tim Lewis builder. He's good. Tim is actually a guy. There is a guy called Tim Lewis, believe it or not. But, um, but I mean, $3 million for a semi-custom home? I don't know. That's, I, I honestly didn't know it went to three million. Yeah. I'd be more comfortable at the two million mark for a semi custom. And you've got a little bit of land with those those homes as well. It's not like they're all packed in together. I called him up and I was like, can we do videos? And I'm like, you can't do videos of our homes. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> sorry, Tim. Didn't mean to offend. Um, but so you got Tim Lewis. Premier Homes is doing some building out there too. I think my. You know, for location wise, I like Anthem United, except single stories, only single stories mm -hmm. out there too. Um, and then you got Woodside Homes that does a park that is kind of on the cusp of Grant Bay, <clears throat> Orangevale. So that one's on Hazel right out there too. Yeah. Um, you still have access to Grant Bay schools, which people love and everything too. Um, so what do you think? What are your like heavy hitters is in the area that you like? I mean, because we do a lot of tours. Guys, we do so many tours that you should be calling us if you want to go see Grant Bay. Okay, so what are the heavy hitters for you? Okay, so there are a few that I really like for different reasons okay. in Granite Bay. One, I, I really like the Tree Lake neighborhood and that's, okay, you're not getting in for seven anything. But maybe nine, maybe 1.1-ish, 1 .1 and that is a great way to get into Granite Bay. Those are, you know, maybe built in the 90s, around 2000. You've got a quarter to a third of an acre, maybe a pool. You get a nice place and a nice entry into Granite Bay. So that's, a, that's you know, one of my favorites. My other favorite, I love Shelbourne. Oh, yeah. I love Shelbourne. You know, every house is different. It's all custom. Um yeah, yeah, You're yeah. Probably closer to the twos there. Well, what did our clients say about Shelbourne? What did it remind them of? That Disneyland. Was... <laughs> it's like you're like on Main Street Disneyland I here. I know. I know. Um, it's an awesome spot. I mean, like it, it, the, 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 I don't think you're going to find like a neighborhood like Shelbourne, like with the type of homes there. They're kind of, they look kind of Tudor, kind of Cape Codish. They look like those little dollhouses back in the day that opened up. And yeah, like, but there's nothing little about them. No, they're big. They're, they're big. Yeah, they're, they are good, you know, five, 6,000 square foot homes with, you know, proportionate backyards, pools, all mature growth, really pretty. 
Yeah, yeah, there, it's nice. That was that was our first that was our first house we ever sold on a, with a YouTube video, and it was right. a Shelbourne house. That was that was an awesome one, right by the water, right by they have a man made lake there that is actually like has fish in it too. Um, but it's a great community, really small. Kind of weird though because there's like a a guard tower out there, but there's no guard in the tower, and so there's no gate. I know, so, but it gives you the impression that you know there could be one. If there, you're just yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah. But it's cute though. It's, I mean, yeah, it's cute. It's super. It, we say cute. I mean. These are big homes and oh, yeah. they're beautiful. And to me, I mean, I guess they, they're the style can mean different things to different people, but to me, it's just classic. You know, I think it's it's a beautiful spot. I liked how like um, how can I say this? Like they have those street lights that are kind of AKA from yeah, Disneyland. Yeah. Really cute looking, mm-hmm. really nice. I mean, you know, manicured area, set back homes. Um, Big homes, like, I mean, average square foot, there's got to be close to, like, maybe 4,500 or something like that. Um, really, really nice. Yeah. I mean, just beautiful area. I think I think Shelbourne, definitely, I'm with you on there. Okay, what it's else a, do you like? Yeah, Shelbourne is a very special neighborhood. So the other one that we can't miss talking about when we're doing grand overview of Granite Bay is Los Lagos. <laughs> Los Lagos. We already talked about Los Lagos a little bit with the 7,000 or the $7 million home, but you don't need that much to get in there. Um, they're, what are we like 1.8 ish Yeah. to get in, probably find what you really want in the twos. Yeah. I mean, we saw one house, the thing about Los Lagos and I was telling this to clients, I'm like, sometimes they have weird rock formations that like aren't well, really it's granite. I mean, yes. hence the name Granite yeah. Bay, right? To- but, and also getting in there. I mean, that with retinal scan, like, you know, like it's just, I mean, it took us like a good 20 minutes to get in the door. Yes. That's the first time I've been asked for my my DRE number going in there. Normally you're just, you know, here's my license. <laughs> here's my ID. Here's my life. Here, here's your, your retinal scan, fingerprint I scan. Or you I, know, like, I, I know I look a little sketchy, but you know. <laughs> Our clients were like, are they going to, uh, it's like worse than TSA. I was like, all right, all right, we're good. But, yeah, but anyway, you're safe. If yeah, you're in yeah, there, yeah, you're yeah. safe now, because that guard is there 24-7. Now, I can give you a little sample of like what you're going to find in Los Lagos. I can give you this because I saw it in a movie. The movie was The Godfather. The scene was that horse scene, you know, and when they do the morning scene, they scope out. Those are like really estate, big, big yeah. homes. I mean, these are like, whew, those are like, I mean, if you're looking for something like with that U driveway, if you're looking mm-hmm. something with columns, if you're looking for something Mediterranean, like that's... Your community. Right. These are definitely estates, and there is variety. I mean, there you, there are definitely a good amount of the Mediterranean style homes, but there are some modern ones in there as well. There are. I mean, mm-hmm. but it's funny, you know. Here, oh, here's what I found in the Los Lagos, in Los Lagos that kind of threw me off. Right, the the modern ones, the newer ones, didn't fit in. I'm driving through like the community. It was like, you know, set back Mediterranean. Yeah. You got, you know, Tuscan. You got like, and then all of a sudden the modern house. They're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. They're nice, sleek and everything too. But it's definitely, I look at Los Lagos as being a little bit more of like those old school estate homes, you know, like that are more classic. Yeah. They're more like column, you know, like the pools where the fountains and everything too. And, you know, modern now contemporary is a lot of lines, a lot of straightness, a lot of like, that's what's popular. And it just... For me, like there is something to be said about those old school kind of houses that are like they're cozy. They're so pretty. Yeah. I, I do love them. And they're, they do feel like home as well. But I actually don't mind having a few of the more mo- – they're not the super, super modern ones. They're just more modern, kind of classic modern, I guess. Mm, okay. And I don't mind them having in there to just to mix it up a little bit. Well, here's one of the things that was funny is like we were like talking to our client – and we're like, hey, do you want to go see Tim Lewis? Because, you know, we're, mm-hmm. we always like to show new homes and reset. Right. We like to show you guys everything. Um, and he was like, I'm not going there, man. Those are too modern for me. I do not want modern house. And it was like, okay, we get it. Yeah. And I got what he was talking about, too, because after going into some of these houses that were in, like, Grant Bay, like the one that Cheryl Nightingale had out there, too, mm-hmm. it was really, like, they're big houses. They're really nice. There's a, a sense that he's like, these are really classy houses, right? They're really, like, piano. They're, they're just, there's just something about about it but no. they don't give you that kind of cold a no, little bit definitely. there's nothing like you know like the grays and the whites and the white floor there's oh, no. nothing about that no there's wood floors yeah it's wood it, floors it's, and the one house had actually had two pianos yeah 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 so elton john and billy joel battling I back know. and forth i love it okay so what are your other heavy heavy hitters we got los lagos and eddie murphy lived over there so that's the claim to fame it's the eddie murphy house but what are yes. the other heavy hitters for you in the area so wexford what do you think about wexford 
if you are a golfer, mm -hmm. I think Wexford is definitely like Wexford and Los Lagos are probably yeah, hit, sure. battling it out for price point and price per square foot. Wexford's really, really nice. I think you can get a little bit more of the modern vibe at Wexford. If you're a golfer, you can hop in the golf cart and you're good to go. So I think Wexford is a great community to look at. I think if you're looking at like the $2 million mark, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, like Shelbourne, Eden Rock, like, uh, you know, Los Lagos, WEC, you know, like you've got your like maybe five or maybe eight communities that you should be looking at. Yeah. You know what I mean? But Wexford definitely is a unique one because of the golf course. Okay. It's like right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's really pretty. You know, what's another pretty one. Hit me. Boulders. Boulders. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's right across the Auburn Folsom road from Los Lagos, the big Los Lagos. And this one's got about 17 or 18 homes. So it's just a really intimate community. You know, I heard that the top luxury team in the Sacramento area has a home that's coming up for sale, a custom oh, home. I, I gave you that one, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, it was like, a, thank you. Yeah, It's going to be so beautiful. Oh, this house is going to set the mm -hmm. stage for a new kind of like a new Grand Bay. It's in boulders and it's going to be ready in about three months. It's so unbelievably amazing. Like if you guys are looking for something Grand Bay and you want modern, slick, contemporary, yeah. but with like th those boulders built in the house, but oh, not obtrusive. Yeah. So know, there's, they're, they're, yeah. They're so it's modern, but you've really got a sense of nature and living inside and outside with the boulders and the surroundings and it's on two acres. So yeah. you've got some land, you can go for walks on your own land, but the home itself is going to be epic. Oh, I know. I know. I can't wait. I can't wait. We're going to show you guys a video when we're when it's done. It's ready to go. It probably is going to be in contract by then. So reach out soon. Yeah. But we were going to do a video of that home because it's by probably the top builder, in our opinion, in the Sacramento yeah. met Metro, uh, Paul Bianchi. And it's like this thing is just so amazing. So like I said, we'll be bringing that listing. And if we are wrong, let us know in the comments. But we aren't. The house is going to be epic. Um, OK, so Grant Bay also there was something about like the Los Lagos and the Boulders um, are further down the road, right? So they're not as accessible to like Roseville shopping. There's still, I mean, you yeah. know, champion problems. But. Yeah, but it's it's quiet, you know, it's quiet back there. And yeah, okay, so you've got to spend five more minutes in your car to get to the shopping, the busy shopping area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not as far as, say, Loomis, and we'll talk about that another time. But, yeah. you know, it's it's kind of a nice spot. But you can, you can still be in Granite Bay, but be quite a bit closer to the shopping and everything if you're kind of on that... East Roseville border. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. So let's talk a little bit about that. If someone is saying, Hey, look, love Granite Bay. I'm thinking like, I'm not going, I, I'm not going to go one seven, 2 million. No. Let's say they have a budget of maybe like nine fifty to maybe one four. What would you say that looks like? Where would you put them as far as in Grant Bay? Well, one is Tree Lake. We already talked about that. Of course. But we can also be right on the, the border of Roseville, and there are some very nice communities. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you're you're looking at one 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 two. Okay. I think. Those houses are interesting because sometimes on the map they'll say Roseville. Sometimes they'll say Granite Bay. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's kind of interesting. Like, you know, like I said, those houses tend to be in those price points. They're nice houses. Don't get me wrong. They're but nice houses, and, you know, you'll have a pool, and they'll, they'll mostly uh, – once they come to market, they'll be redone, have a kitchen remodeled or something like that. So it, it's, I mean, it's, you'll get a nice place. And for people who it's important, you know, a lot of people really love the Granite Bay schools. Yeah. So Granite Bay schools. You in, you're kind of set it and forget it if that works for you. Well, I think also those communities tend to be a little bit more walkable to yeah. like downtown or downtown Roseville or, you know, the, not downtown Roseville, but like the Fountains Galleria. I mean, maybe not walkable, but at least you're like close by. And yeah, so I think just, people, yeah, you're, you, you're, you're a little bit closer to everything and stuff like this. Where like the Los Lagos, you got to have, you're driving maybe like, uh, maybe like 12, 15 minutes 15 from the mall. 15 minutes, yeah. You Windy have to plan road a little bit. and your estate <laughs> home. I mean, so, but it's still, I mean, I think Grand Bay does have something for everybody, but the history of Grand Bay has always been like, you know, Grand Bay was built out and it was kind of like the it area that people wanted to move into. Mm -hmm. So it's held its value very, very well. I mean, things don't really stay long on the market there. It does hold its value. That's yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. And so I would say that if you're someone who's maybe thinking about moving in or someone who's thinking about maybe paying like over like a million, a million two, you want to make mm -hmm. sure that wherever you're putting your money, you're going to go historically to places that have appreciated. And Grand Bay is definitely that spot. Everybody loves Granite Bay. I mean, everybody just, it, and it's central. So yeah, what do you think? it is. It's so pretty. I mean, everywhere you drive, especially, you know, we're just coming out of spring here in spring and everything's blooming. It's, it's green. It's so pretty, but you're, you know, just 
to go back a little bit, you've got some other communities that have gates and they're mostly on that kind of East Roseville edge. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, you, you can be in a gated community. You don't have to be in Los Lagos with the 24 seven, you know, human at the, the guard, um, the guard gate. So I'm not really sure if I like the guard gate or not. I, I can get how some people are. I mean, like mm -hmm. we were working with a couple doctors who were like, I just like to go in somewhere, the security private. I, I want to make sure when I'm gone, like that my family, I feel that so security safe. feeling. Yeah. So I'm good. I mean, it depends on the price point too, as far as like what the HOA covers. The HOAs aren't that bad either. I mean, they're not that bad. No, no. they do have rules. Yeah. I mean, Los Lagos, you're, you can't go run your lawnmower around on the weekend, right? Yeah. So, which is kind of nice. Yeah, yeah. And the only thing that I would say also, it's something to hit on that we haven't yet to, and Grant Bay is just make sure that if you are moving into an area like the Los Lagos or whatnot, that you check with our buddy Javier Ortiz for fire insurance, because fire insurance, the closer you get to Folsom Lake, fire insurance does become one of those things you definitely need to check out in homeowner's insurance, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, you're going to have a little bit of space, so, you know, it's not like in El Dorado Hills, though. You know, if you're up a hill and you've got a really nice view of Sacramento and downtown and the sunset, well, you've probably got some grass leading up to your house, and that's your, that's going to be the issue right there. If you're in a neighborhood like in Granite Bay, I don't know that it's going to be such an issue, but it is smart. You're you, you're right. You do need to always check. Yeah. Um, well, with on the insurance issue when you're looking to buy any property, really. Well, that's the thing Javier was saying. He's like, you know, the, some of those houses in Los Lagos because they're close to the water, and there's so much. There's they're you know three million dollar yeah. house and everything too. They're like those home insurance. Part, you definitely need to watch and you mm -hmm. need to factor that in before even like looking at those homes because that's going to be part of the equation. So it's just some stuff to think about. And like I said, yeah. guys, yeah. when you work with our team, we'll work with you to make sure that every little gotcha you know about a little ahead of time so you're not falling in love before you're it's like oh homeowner's insurance oh flood insurance and that's kind of what we do for our clients especially in the grant bay area not especially in the grant bay especially everywhere there's no flood insurance in granite bay all right not all right. required anyway all right very cool so yeah. what other what's your additional thoughts and like i said guys look grant bay is a really big spot so nikki and i are going to come and start doing videos on specific areas like los lagos and shelbo so you kind of know the difference we're also going to probably bring in drone shots and everything too so you guys can get the the kind of the idea now here's the thing with nikki and i we sell we i mean we list homes there we mm -hmm. move people in we have a lot of experience in that area so just make sure before you are deciding on a realtor or a team that they have experience in the grand bay area there are some gotchas there are some things you need to factor in before mm -hmm. you decide to go look at homes we'd love to be that team you work with Okay, Nikki, anything about Grant Bay? You want to, final words? Final words. I think you just need to stay tuned um, when we do a deep dive into the, the various neighborhoods within Granite Bay, and we'll just, we'll just leave you with that. All right, guys. Enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, and comment. Like I said, if you have any questions about Granite Bay specifically, leave them below. And uh, that's it, guys. We're out of here. Have a good one, and hopefully this gave you a little more insight on Granite Bay and the Sacramento area. Guess what guys, the video just ended. But don't worry, we have more videos just like that one right over there. And if you missed that red subscribe button during the course of the video, we got you covered right there. Hit that subscribe button. We promise to bring you some amazing content. We won't let you down. Now, if you're looking for a team in the Sacramento metro area to work with, we'd love to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. We always include a Zoom link down below. So book a time where we can talk to you a little one-on-one, -on -one, find out exactly what your real estate needs are.